Monkey Greyhound Racing. The glory days of when the greyhounds were ridden by monkeys. The one jockey in particular stands out. The great Cedric Kong III. Kong came from very humble beginnings and started as a dog breezer. After breezing dogs for a period of time, Kong made the step up to dog rodeo and then goat tightrope walker. But with his raw talent there for everyone to see, Kong was soon a fully fledged greyhound racer. From there, Kong went from strength to strength, winning race after race, and he was soon seen as the top monkey jockey in the world. With his talent and charisma personality, Kong had it all. Fame, fortune, and the beautiful movie starred wife, Sharia Kong. My, my, Mr. Kong, what a life you have. But for Kong, it turned out to be too much. Excessive drinking, gambling, and narcotics use followed. After being in trouble with the law for using an illegal firearm while intoxicated, his wife left him for actor-director Charlie Chaplin. Kong hit rock bottom and was on the blink of death. But as the old saying goes, you can't keep a great monkey down. With hard work and dedication, Kong came back from the brink, and soon he was back on the Greyhound. After back-to-back -back victories, winning the Critter Cup and the Banana Derby, it was time for the biggest race of the year, the Primate Handicap. The crowd is a full turnout, all eager to see if this former great champion can make the comeback of the century. The atmosphere is tense, the adrenaline must be flowing through the jockeys. Before the race you could hear a pin drop. And they're off! It's a tight race, but it looks like Kong's comeback was too good to be true. But wait! Last minute, Kong makes a push. He wins! The crowd is ecstatic to witness what can only be said as the best comeback of all time. After the race, Kong is asked how he feels about the victory. <laughs> Spoken like a true champion. He's that ecstatic, he can't even resist a bit of showboating. It's the cup and bananas instead for Kong. No champagne, he's still on the wagon. Kong went on to have countless victories that were matched by no other monkey jockey before finally retiring and settling into a career as one of the top greyhound trainers in the world and writing countless books on the art of monkey jockey racing, particularly his tail whip technique. And he became a strong advocate for alcoholic monkeys. He finally retired and went to live in Cuba, where no doubt he reminisced about the countless great victories he had over his fantastic career. Cedric Kong III, the greatest monkey greyhound jockey of all time.